Hey, so in this video, I'm going to share with you three reasons why you need to get started. And this is really to motivate you, to let you see that there is a lot of options in what you can achieve when you dedicate yourself to something. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning again into this video. Now, the point here is this, right? Whenever we're starting something, whenever we're getting into something that we are not so familiar with, like investing, like making a budget, these are things that sometimes requires you to form a habit. And if you do not have the right habits set in place, it will be very hard for you to reach the goals. Think about habits as systems, all right? When you have the system in place that helps you achieve a goal, then you don't really have to think about it. You just have to do it. Like most of the time, if you're going to work, I'm actually at work right now, that's why I'm in this environment. But if you are going to work and you have to go take a shower, take a bath and get ready for work, you don't think about most of the things you, you have to do. You just know that you have to get up, take a shower. If you have to go work out and be a workout, then come a sh take a shower, get ready, wear your clothes and head out to work. And you take the same route to get to work. That's because you already have a system. You already have a pattern that you follow every time. It's the same thing that you want to do when it comes to investing. When you have a system in place that helps you achieve that goal, then you are able to follow that pattern on a regular basis and you don't have to think too much about it. So what are the systems that I would recommend to you in this video? Well, the first one is so simple. The first one is to automate things, right? When you automate a process, then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to think about it. And examples of ways you can automate things is, you know, setting up that automatic deduction to be invested maybe from your paycheck or maybe it's deducted from your account and it goes into a, a, a retirement account, a brokerage account, a Roth account, whatever the account may be, right? And that is the first thing that you want to do. The second thing that you want to do is to form a system that helps you to track your expenses. I think this is also important because if you do not have the ability to track your expenses, you would realize that your ability to measure, right, the things you spend money on or maybe budget, right, will be quite difficult. And that is why it is essential that you have a system to also track your expenses. Now, what do I do? Now, some people may use apps like Mint. Some, some people may use uh, the typical spreadsheet of, you know, putting your income, putting your expenses out on a paper, whatever that may look like. You may prefer to write it down. If you're the type of person that likes writing, write it down, put it down on paper and let it just you know, stand out to you so that you can maybe cross it out or cross out a subscription that you need to cut back on, whatever that may be for you, right? Do what you believe you have to do in order to get the results that you desire. And the third thing that I would recommend to you is to realize that if you do not set a goal, how are you able to measure the, the progress you're making? Okay. So it is vital that there is a goal in place before you even start any of these things. And I intentionally put that last because it's very easy to form habits, right? Habits without a goal, right? Just hear me out here. Without a goal, it's easy to form a habit, all right? So think about it. If you're the type of person that likes to sit down on Instagram and scroll all day, right? There's no goal. You just sit down and do it. Or if you're the type of person that just does things without having to plan for it, right? There's so many examples that can go on. Whether you like watching TV, whether you like binge watching things or maybe eating food, snacking. These are things that you generally don't set a goal for, but you form the habit. And that's why your habits really is so important that if you have the right habits formed or the right systems, okay, formed from the get-go and you follow the steps that I've just laid out, you, are, you will get closer to your goal, even if you don't get to achieve it. So let's say your goal is to save I don't know, maybe a million dollars for retirement, then even if you don't make that one million dollars, you will come closer to it because 100,000 is definitely closer than zero, right? Or 200,000 is definitely closer than zero or 500,000 is definitely closer than, you know, 50,000. So the point here is having a goal helps you to measure your sense of direction, helps you measure the progress, helps to see how you're performing and how close you are in um, reaching that goal so i hope this is all makes sense i really wanted to share this with you today's friday i hope you're having a great day wherever you are i wish you a very happy uh weekend as you move going to the weekend and i would love to see you in the next one